Liberals freak as Roseanne drops brutal truth bomb on filthy Michelle Wolf. And filthy is putting it mildly by Dan Lindsay Entertainment Politics for MadWorldNews.com. Liberals are freaking out after Roseanne Barr dropped a brutal truth bomb on comedian Michelle Wolf for her nasty attacks on President Donald Trump and Sarah Huckabee Sanders. You won't want to miss this. The mainstream media has a new champion in comedian Michelle Wolf after she was hired to be the after-dinner entertainment for the White House Correspondents' Dinner on Saturday, April 8th. Uh, April 28, 2018. She used the podium to berate White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders and take cheap shots at President Donald Trump. During her monologue, Wolf went on a nasty rant about Trump's attorney, Michael Cohen, paying uh, her $130,000 to keep her mouth shut and also laid into Sanders, who was sitting just a few feet away. Wolf's remarks were degrading. Every time Sarah steps up to the podium, I get excited, Wolf said. I'm not really sure what we're going to get, you know, a press briefing, a bunch of lies, or divided into softball teams. It's shirts and skins, and this time, uh, don't be such a little, you know what, Jim Acosta, Wolf said. I actually really like Sarah. I think she's very resourceful, but she burns facts and then she uses that ash to create a perfect smoky eye. Like maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's lies. It's probably lies, Wolf added, as she attacked Sanders' appearance. After the night was over, Trump rebuked Wolf at the White House Correspondents Association in a group of tweets on, twitting, uh, on Twitter. Uh, saying, excuse me, uh, on Twitter saying, while Washington, Michigan was a big success, Washington, D.C. just didn't work. Everyone is talking about the fact that the White House Correspondents' Dinner was a very big, boring bust. The so-called comedian really bombed. Greg Gutfeld uh, should host next year, Peter Hegseth. I wouldn't have even bothered to that, uh, to you know, respond to this if I were Trump. Trump continued dishing uh, harsh words to Wolf and the WHCA on Twitter later Sunday evening. The White House Correspondents' Dinner was a failure last year, but this year was an embarrassment to everyone associated with it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got to give it to him, though. The filthy comedian totally bombed. Wow. Wow. Trump. Wow. <laughs> couldn't even uh, deliver her lines, much like the Seth Meyers week performance, put dinner to rest or start over, he said. Wow. On the same day, famed actress and comedian Roseanne Barr joined the discussion and released a brutal truth bomb for Michelle Wolf. Her first tweet about how liberals use women to attack women uh, was sent out on Sunday morning. They use women to attack and bully women, she said. Very good point there. Roseanne followed that up a few hours later with even better words for the filthy comedian. First rule of comedy, never target someone who's uh, more famous than you, who is in the audience. You will lose the entire crowd, she wrote. In her next tweet, Roseanne continued her lesson. Second rule of comedy, comedy comes from love, not from hate. If you feel hate, you won't get laughs, she added, according to Breitbart. Such great, uh, you know, points there. Roseanne saved the best rule for, for last when she wrote her next tweet. Third rule of comedy, the comic has to be the blank hole, not the audience, she said. Yeah, the last message for Wolf was a simple note from Roseanne about how she came to understand these simple rules of comedy. Note, these rules of comedy are my own learned from bombing 10,000 times, she wrote. Very well put, yeah.
Actually, she was given her pointers, too. Following the uh, WHCA's horrendous event, the organization's president, Margaret Talev, expressed regret over what took place on Saturday evening because Wolf's monologue overshadowed the entire evening. Taleb also said that she felt that her organization may have fallen short of their goal to unify the country. You think? Oh, come on now. Anybody believe that they were trying to unify the country? What a crock. Taleb did not apologize to Sanders or take responsibility because that was their, uh, their plan all along and don't look at what they're saying now. In my opinion, Taleb doesn't care about the fact that a person she hired to provide entertainment used the opportunity to attack President Donald Trump, Sarah Sanders, and conservatives. Michelle Wolf's performance truly lacked any value and was inappropriate in every way imaginable. The bottom line here is that Trump is right about the WHCA's event being dead. If those who hold the event cannot find a way to be respectful towards our president and his staff, it should be canceled altogether. Uh, yeah, because again, what Roseanne said, if comedy comes from hate, it's not funny, do you see? And you won't get laughs. That's it. And, and she actually was hired as a comedian, even though I'm more than sure that the republic the uh, democrats uh wanted the republicans to be dissed so she got the memo of diss the republicans you see so that's what she did and i don't believe this woman that woman that came out and said uh oh you know uh it detracted and we were trying to bring the country together give it a rest the woman uh this uh wolf uh person was reading the lines. You see what I'm saying? She, so what does that tell you? That it was all given to her prior to, uh, you know, what she was supposed to say. I mean, it, it's really disgraceful. But actually, Roseanne gave her a lot of pointers, which, uh, you know, I think Roseanne was being actually too kind, you know. Uh, th those uh, pointers are actually, uh, you know, priceless for anybody that wants to do comedy. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.